Welcome to Fast Philosophy! This video is part of our Translating into Propositional Logic series and explains how to translate the if-then connective into conditional formulas and the if-and-only-if connective into biconditional formulas. Conditional sentences in natural language often contain two different propositions. One proposition is the antecedent, the other is the consequent. When translating, the antecedent must always go before the horseshoe and the consequent must go after the horseshoe. The conditional can be easy to spot in sentences of the form if this then that. For instance, if Socrates is at home then Plato is at work can be written if S then P, given the correct key of course. However, many natural language sentences do not take this form. For example, Plato is at work if Socrates is at home would be translated if s then p. There are very many cases in which if is used in a sentence but its placement or its combination with a modifier changes the way we translate it. For instance, Socrates is at home only if Plato is at work. The term only modifies the conditional if. s only if p would be interpreted as not s if not p to get rid of the only. Because we write the antecedent to the left of the horseshoe this would be written like this. There are many more confusing uses of if and many arguments surrounding the proper translation too. Noticing when a natural language sentence uses the biconditional probably involves intuition more than any other sentence connective. This is because sentences of the form P, if and only if Q, are very uncommon outside of philosophy. Natural language sentences of the form P, when and only when Q, and P, just in case Q, are very uncommon also, but are translated in the same way as P, if and only if Q. Unlike the conditional, it doesn't matter which formula goes to the left of the triple bar and which formula goes to the right. This is because the biconditional means that the truth values of the formulas involved are equivalent. Truth value equivalence will be covered in a later series.